Yeah, hi everyone, Andrew for, Andrew Kerr from Network Migration Services here. I haven't done a blog for a while, it's been a month or two, only because, quite frankly, we've just been so busy with the Res 2021 applications into New Zealand. Um, also, since March the 14th, when the New Zealand borders opened up for basically people earning a high income of $85,000 plus, um, we've worked on nearly 100 job offers in the last three months, um, which is outstanding. And it's outstanding the work that the New Zealand team do on the job training. But a lot of the, uh, well, when I say a lot, probably 60 or 70 of, of the people that got job offers were actually were, were getting the offers after our training um, or during our training process uh, through, from, from the team, not only in South Africa with Rose and Liz, of course, but Peter and Michelle in New Zealand as well. And you know we're very very proud of that, and it's and it's working really really well um, to the extent that we're actually getting um, candidates coming to us from other agencies, which is all very well and good for us, but not necessarily good for the other agencies. And I want to just give you an example, and I've talked about this in my webinars a lot. Please try and understand when you engage an agent, what the agent's um, company does for you. And I'm not trying to ridicule other agencies at all, but but you know certainly agencies have different business models, and those business models may or may not um, incorporate things like helping you with registrations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And what brought this to my attention was in the last 24 hours, I've had two people come to me that are using another agent. They're both electricians, um, and yet they were. When, uh, they, they were not really, in my opinion, not really fully informed of what the other agent was planning or agency was planning on doing for them um, in, the, in the sense of, of course, you know, getting them registered with EWRB. Well, the other agency doesn't do that. Um, it's their business model. I'm not holding it against them, but they just don't do that. And then, of course, when it comes to the job, the, that very all important job hunting process and job search and obtaining a job offer, um, they didn't help with that either. So both of these clients have decided they're not going to stay with this particular company they're using. They're going to come to us, um, mainly because we are, as I've purported to be from the day one and the last 29 years, we've created a situation and an organization which takes you from step one to step 100 or from A to Z, let's say. And that includes everything associated with your application. So if you need a job, um, excuse me, if you need registration to find a job offer, well, we'll do it for you. Uh, um, and it's part and parcel of our service and it's built into our package prices. And also our job search training is also built into our services. We don't charge for it for our clients. It's part of our services. We have formulated a small charge to clients that are coming from other agents that are not finding jobs because our, our job search training and process is working really, really well and we're very proud of the way it is working. And it's an ongoing process. It's something we've put a lot of effort into um, over the last six or seven years and we'll be continuing to put effort uh, into it. But what we're finding at the moment, I had a conversation with a, a lovely gentleman uh, this morning who, who works um, for an immigration company in New Zealand as well, um, as of course um, they have their own recruitment side. And they're just screaming for skills so much that we're going to work and partner up with them to help them find the candidates that they need. Um, we're also one of the few agencies, if I may be blunt, that allows payment plans. You know, this has been a tough couple of years, a t tough nearly three years for everybody. And, you know, immigration is not a cheap exercise, irrelevant of which country you're coming to. So, or going, or coming from, sorry. So, we are an agency that is prepared to discuss payment option situations or payment option plans with our clients where, you know, when you come on board, you can pay deposits in your home country and, of course, pay us off in New Zealand or Australia. Australia is a bit different because, of course, Australia hasn't selected anybody offshore for the last two and a half years. We hope they're going to start selecting next week. We should know that about a week after next week. Um, and I'm pretty confident they'll start selecting. But in that all-important process of getting into New Zealand, the job offer is, is, is part of it. It's one of the biggest hurdles that most of you will come across. So I'm just a little shocked, as always, in dealing with purportedly reputable firms. Um, and they are, again, I'm not putting them down, that just don't go the extra mile. So, for example, if you're an electrician, you need registration with the Electrical Workers Registration Board. And if your agency's not doing that for you and they're not helping you with that all important part, part uh, process of finding a job, what are you paying them for? So 
this was just something that's happened now. I mean, I've had another call from a client that was, you know, potentially or is involved with another agent that is not helping them with the registration processes in their occupation, and they want to come on board with us because we do. You know, this is quite complicated for a lot of people. A lot of people haven't immigrated before, clearly, and if you haven't, this is a daunting process. So just please understand that we take this extremely seriously. This is your life we're mucking around with, and we take that very very seriously um, and you know we are one of the only agencies I believe that that works from beginning to end not only to you know to help you find work of course but to get you registered and to get the process um, of the visa application processes from beginning to end no matter what you need so please feel free to contact me Andrew at networkmigration.com our next webinar is on the 3rd of August which is a Wednesday night that's not next week it's the week after um, and yeah I just, it was literally just a quick blog I'm sitting outside working from home this afternoon and just you know I was a bit bothered by the fact that these people are very frustrated and very angry with the fact that they've been paying people their hard-earned money and really got very little return from it. Um, so it's, it's not necessarily the agency's fault, and please, I am reiterating that. It's not their business model. But if you're going to be paying somebody your hard-earned money to achieve these certain goals, we have created, Network Migration has created a process that is you know, from A to Z, from beginning to end, and whatever is needed when it comes to the migration process. So stay in touch, Andrew at NetworkMigration.com, and if you wish to have a, a, a watch of the webinar on the 3rd of August. Stay safe, everybody. We look forward to working with you if we are. We look forward to continue working with you if we are, and if we're not, and you want to engage our services, or you just want advice, I'm happy to give you the advice for free. Andrew at NetworkMigration.com. Stay safe. Cheers, everyone.